welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see what is a response spectrum okay in the simplest way in order to study the response spectrum we need to understand two things the first is time period okay and the second one is earthquake any earthquake reading Okay, now first we will see what is a time period. So, uh, in simple word, for example, here you have one structure and you have giving some displacement. Okay, so this structure, because of this force P, will move like this okay and if now you have removed that force so what will happen this structure will oscillate like this okay so you have released the structure from this point it will come back to the equilibrium then to the left extreme and then it will come to the this particular point okay where from where you have released the structure so the total time taken by the structure is called as time period okay so here time period if you go formula wise the formula is 2 pi under root m by k where m is mass of the structure and k is stiffness of the structure so for a building if you know the mass and if you know the stiffness you can calculate the time period okay so different buildings have different time periods so now we are not going to talk about the buildings but we will talk in terms of time period that the structure is having time period one second 0.5 second 0.75 second likewise we are going to talk we are not going to say this structure like this okay so we'll just find out the time period and we'll discuss about the time period okay so that that is the first point we have cleared uh, that is time period now we'll uh, discuss about our second point that is earthquake okay now how to measure earthquake so there are different equipments are there which measures uh, the earthquake reading so suppose there is an uh, area and in this area suppose this earthquake was the major earthquake happened in the past and now you want to build your structure in this area so you have to refer this earthquake okay similarly there is some another area in which this type of earthquake was the major earthquake and same way you have to you want to build a structure here then you have to refer this earthquake these are the readings of earthquake responses that are measured on the devices different uh, equipments are there they measure this earthquake okay maximum displacement velocity and acceleration now here as i told you first thing is time period and second thing is the earthquake now we have selected one earthquake here Okay, now read carefully the x-axis there is a time on y-axis there is a acceleration okay so you can convert this into velocity versus time and displacement versus time also okay now second thing is uh, here earthquake we have now time period I have chosen first time period equal to 0.5 second 
then time period is equal to one second and third is time period is equal to two seconds there are some integration methods are there so the structures those are having time period 0 0.2 second and also i have kept damping ratio equal to 2% here that is constant in all the case okay the structure which having time period 0.5 second and experience this type of earthquake how will they response so there are certain integration method by using that the response is plotted here right in the response on y axis there is a displacement and x axis there is a time it is a general time not a time period for second structure also we have done the same y axis displacement is there x axis time is there similarly for time period 2 second now observe for the first that is time period 0.5 second the maximum displacement is 2.67 for this maximum displacement is 5.97 and for this maximum displacement is 7.47 inch okay another interesting thing that they are occurring at a different times okay here you can see earthquake is same but because of different time period they may have different displacement okay undergoing at a different time period means suppose uh, time period 0.5 second okay the those structures are having time period 0.5 second will undergo maximum displacement of 2.67 inch as mentioned here for this particular earthquake similarly time period 1 second will undergo 5.97 inch and time period 27 7.47 inch now the question is how to construct a response spectrum okay i'll just clear everything here now we are going to see how to construct a response spectrum okay for constructing a response spectra here the response spectra is constructed i am just enlarging it on the x axis there is time period on y axis there is a displacement here you can see this is the displacement and this is the time period okay now 4.5 second time period displacement is 2.67 okay so here you can see 0.5 is the time period and 2.67 is the displacement similarly for second structure time period is 1 second and displacement is 5.97 similarly for 2 second it is 7.47 so similarly if you take different structures of time periods you will get this different what we can say displacements and you can plot the curve so this curve is called as response spectrum curve okay now this is for displacement you can construct this response spectra for displacement also velocity also and for acceleration also these are all the same responses okay 2.67 5.97 7.47 this is this is in terms of displacement this is in terms of velocity and this is in terms of acceleration if you see displacement is like increasing and acceleration is something like okay and velocity is also something like this these are all uh, because of what you uh, differentiate as per that these values are coming so this is how you construct the response spectra okay there is uh, another graph is also in which all the three response spectrums are combined okay if, if you see here on the x axis there is a frequency 
y axis there is a velocity okay and if you see here the displacement is there and if you see here acceleration is there okay so for a structure having time period one second you can simply go and suppose you are uh, looking for damping 10 percent so simply if you come here you will get velocity then in 45 degree you have to cut you will get the displacement here and if you come down here you will get the acceleration so in this way you can get all the values now what is the use of uh, response spectrum that we are going to see okay now you know how to construct a response spectrum now what is the use or how to use the response spectrum as i told you uh, there is suppose there is some area in which uh, you want to build a structure okay so you have to or there will be a chart available for you like this okay of response spectra what you need to do that whatever building you are going to construct uh, you need to find the time period of that structure and that is depend upon mass and stiffness okay suppose time period comes out to be 2.4 second so you have to just need to go 2.4 second and you have to check what is the maximum displacement is there okay maximum displacement will give you shear forces and moments okay so there is no need to perform integrative methods you can directly get the shear force and moments and that is the use of response spectra okay thank you for watching the video if you have doubt you can comment right below and you can ask your doubts thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe real civil youtube channel thank you